Okay, so now you're going to start the, the test mode on the, the low and the high. Down arrow. Um, Go up. So the way I think of it, to conceptualize it, check out. What happens when you go to a supermarket? You check out, right? You mm -hmm. check out your groceries. Click check out. You're going to check out the gas heat. That's how you're going to test high and low. So go next. Now, you, you can tell how many minutes for each one that you want to run. So we're going to do 5-5. Five, five. So now it's going to go through inducer, low pressure. You'll start seeing them systematically turn on. So we're going to go downstairs. And we're also going to keep a reference of the five minutes so that we don't have to run back up here. And now we're going to go down here. So that's 6.84. Okay. What, what's the number we're expecting on low stage? Let me see that your data plate. Zero point five zero to zero point six five. Right now, where are we? One point five eight. We don't move it. We don't touch it until the blower turns on. Because remember what happened? The the thing right here it says one point five eight, but it changes as soon as the blower turns on. This thermostat screwdriver is right here. And then we're also going to reference this once everything is done. So like we're waiting until the blower turns on to get a true reference point. It's kind of like refrigerant. You, you know how you wait for like 20 minutes for the refrigerant yes. to expand? Same thing with gas. Okay, 0.60. You see how it changed from one something to 0 0.60? Now, what do you think happens to the guy who's quickly changing the gas valve, the gas pressure based on seeing the initial 1.5? They didn't wait until it turned on, like the blower motor kicking on and all that. They're making it, they're, they're changing it when they shouldn't have changed it. They should have waited until this inflection point. So right now we're at 0.60. And then right here, we're gonna look at 